In a few minutes, Xuao and I will be discussing EDP's world-leading InvoGrid project, but we start with the smart grid in general. Previously a well-kept industry secret has its increasingly public profile increased pressure on this sector to respond. Yes, in some cases we can, we can speak about pressure and pressure, but uh, what we feel is the pressure is there. We have been working on the operational efficiency, on quality of service. We have, during the last 10, 15 years, uh, working under a strong regulation pressure. So we feel we need to build a new utility. Quite rightly, you said Portugal is at the forefront of this. What lessons can you pass on to other DSOs who are perhaps looking to make these steps now and looking to EDP as a, a case study? I don't know. It's difficult to say. Because is, we don't know when is the right time to, to start. During several years we, rest, we work on it, we study, we received a lot of uh, proposals, we make a lot of studies about this and at some moment we decide the for this new challenge the only answer one of the answer not the only but the main answer is smart grids and in off grid the dso as i said at the beginning of our conversation can uh, lead this movement um, and that this this level of chain of uh, modification in the old sector with them bundling and with the supplier and the, all this change in our sector from a, situa from a situation of monopoly, like in Portugal, we, uh, I think it's time that we can get our position and be the head of the change. And let's talk now, if we can, about the, the human side to this transformation. I mean, you're talking about creating a whole new business model, and I think inevitably there will be some resistance to change. How are you winning the battle for hearts and minds? Nice question. <laughs> because you always, we always speak about technology, but the people are real, still the most important part. We need different people for the, for the future. We need that the, the new people that came to the company, and I think now the sector are much more sexy in a way with this new, it's not so traditional. I received a lot of proposals for young engineers that want to work within off-grid because they, they understand it's a different, it's a new utility, as you said. So I think for that, it will be easy to come. But we need to make the transition from the old people, very, they know a lot of things about the industry. I think they can, have the, they can build some part of the future and give some information to the young people. For more fantastic interviews directly related to your business, be sure to explore Meet the Boss TV.